Hi, my name is Fred Smith, and I'm a professor in the economics department at Davidson College. I'd like to start by just thanking Jane and Jennifer for inviting me to participate in the ACS project. It gave me a great opportunity to incorporate technology into the classroom in a way that I'd actually been hoping to do for a number of years. So I'm very thankful for having had this opportunity. I uh, want to spend just a few minutes on this video first telling you what I did and why I did it and then ultimately spending the remainder of the video telling you what worked, what didn't, and what my plans for the future are. So first in terms of what I did and why I did it, <coughs> I used the tool Explain Everything to create videos. These are basically electronic whiteboard videos where the students are looking at my handwriting, working through problems as I'm doing a voiceover through the microphone. And what I was looking to use these videos for, uh, ultimately I wanted to use them in both Economics 101 and Economics 202. 101 is our intro course and 202 is our intermediate micro course. And in both of these courses I've found over the years that there are a number of concepts that students struggle with. And so my hope was that I might be able to use Explain Everything to basically give students uh, a way of having on-demand office hours, uh, basically having another shot at listening to me explain these problems and actually be writing material on an electronic whiteboard the same way that I might be writing on a whiteboard in a classroom. Uh, ultimately, what, uh, what I created over the course of the fall semester, I made six videos that uh, I posted on the Economics 202 Moodle page that I used for the course. Uh, one other thing I would mention at this point is, is part of my motivation in creating these videos was to ultimately support our department and the college's initiatives with inclusive pedagogy. And in particular, uh, I was very interested in making sure that these videos might be accessible to students from underrepresented backgrounds as well as uh, students who are first generation college students. So, as I mentioned, I ultimately had a series of six videos that I posted on my Economics 202 Moodle page. Uh, they're actually also available on YouTube to the public. Uh, one thing that I ultimately ended up not having very much success with was creating these videos in a way where they were approachable and useful for students in Eco 101. My first attempts at this were early in the semester. I was trying to create a, a series of videos that could be used for both review of Economics uh, 101 material for my Eco 202 class, but more importantly is uh, support materials for my Eco 101 class. After having conversations with a few students in 101, what I found was that uh, these, these videos were in fact not as helpful as I thought that they might be. And uh, ultimately, at that point, I decided to focus my energies during the first half of the semester on Economics 202. So I created the series of six videos to ultimately help support the students as they were working through the portion of the course uh, known as consumer theory. And so it gave me an opportunity to work through relatively uh, sophisticated calculus problems that the students hadn't seen before, as well as working through graphing and then again having the voiceovers to help uh, explain the material. The anecdotal evidence that I have for how well these worked in ECO 202 is in fact quite encouraging, uh, both in terms of performance on in-semester exams as well as on the final exam. What I found by checking the logs of the uh, Moodle page is that the students that use these the most frequently simply did better on these exams. And ultimately, uh, that was a very positive outcome certainly leads me to understand that I need to do a better job of encouraging the use of these videos in subsequent semesters in intermediate micro. Moreover though, uh, this semester I'm teaching two sections of Intro Economics, Eco 101, and my main goal for this semester is to continue working with Explain Everything to create a series of videos that will in fact be approachable for the Eco 101 students. Uh, I'm hoping to do that in a way where the, video, the videos themselves are more approachable, but I also ultimately need to do a better job of presenting those uh, to students as, as I'm making them available. So thank you again for the opportunity to work on this project. I, I think it benefited my students tremendously, and uh, I certainly will be using these videos for many semesters to come and, and continue to hope to revise them and make them better and better.